the Great Lakes Intertribal Council is proposing a 36-bed adolescent treatment facility in the town of Cashin. On December 28th in the town of Woodruff, there's going to be a public hearing. There's a whole lot of questions that have to be answered yet at this point before this should be approved. The Great Lakes Intertribal Council, or GLITSI, has applied for a conditional use permit in western Oneida County. Not having that infrastructure out there puts a real burden on Oneida County. And since GLITSI is a nonprofit, the land that they own is tax exempt, meaning less tax revenue. If this land is taken out of uh, fee land, that will be that much less money that will come into the county. The town of Cajun's planning commission is against the facility, but ultimately the county has the final say. The December 28th public hearing will be an opportunity for GLITSI to further explain their plan. Public comments can be sent to the United County Zoning Department up until 10 a.m. on the day of the hearing. The department's now starting to get emails. Uh, letters uh, for and against the project, and so this is the opportunity for the uh, for Glitzy to address those. The meeting will be held at the Woodruff Town Hall to accommodate the anticipated high turnout, but all comments will be available for anyone to view. We put them in a file for public comment, so if anyone wants to see those comments again for or against the project, they're available to be reviewed. Congressman Tiffany says there's a need for this facility, but has a different idea for a location. The offer that I've made to the tribe is, I think it's um, this could be a good project, but they should put it on tribal land. Reporting in Rhinelander, Nick Van's Isle, News Watch 12.